Hi, welcome to today's Vinyasa Flow. For today's practice, you don't need any props, just some space to move, and we're gonna get started in an easy seat. So make yourself nice and comfortable, tall spine, whichever leg you prefer in front. Give yourself a handful of breaths here, just to settle in. Stacking your heart over your hips, head over your heart, noticing if you're wanting to lean forward or rounding down. Finding a slight squeeze in the shoulder blades. Then we'll go through a few rounds of Robin's breath. Hands come to heart center to start. Inhale here. Exhale, palms press forward, round the spine. Inhale, open your arms up nice and wide. Exhale, palms press forward, round. Inhale, hands back to heart center. Exhale, palms press forward, chin to chest. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale, palms press forward, round the spine. Inhale, hands back to heart center. Give yourself a few more rounds here, working at your pace of breath. If it feels comfortable, maybe play with allowing the eyes to soften or close, just leaning into those movements. Notice if you start to get into your head a little bit about did I miss a movement or am I breathing at the wrong time? As long as you're breathing and moving, you're doing a great job. We're warming up the spine, opening up the chest. Give yourself one more full cycle. No rush. We'll meet back in center when you're ready. Again, take your time as you get there, keeping that nice tall spine for a moment. Then hands plant in front of you and come to a tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. On an inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, round your spine, press away from the mat. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, round the spine. Few more rounds, working at your pace of breath. Adding in some side stretches if that feels good, or maybe a little time in child's pose if that would feel nice. Taking your time here. One more cycle. And we'll meet back in a neutral spine when you're ready. Gaze down between the hands so you have a long back of the neck. Then extend your left leg long, toes on the mat. So you're pressing your back heel behind you. Then modified side plank, right knee spins, toes off the mat, right hand under the mat and left arm towards the sky. Left toes should be pointing towards the long edge of the mat. Press into foot, knee, and hand. Then left arm reaches overhead, creating almost like a rainbow shape in your side body, lengthening from the blade edge of the left foot through the fingertips. On an inhale, pull your elbow towards your hip, maybe even look up. Exhale to reach forward. Inhale, elbow towards hip like a half cactus. Exhale, reach forward. Few more rounds at your pace. Again, as that elbow comes towards the hip, you might notice your chest opening towards the sky. One more round. And we'll meet with that left arm reaching forward, then left arm towards the sky. Cartwheel that hand back to the mat. Tabletop once more. Extend your right leg long behind you, toes on the mat, giving yourself a moment here to press that back heel away from you, stretch out the calf, then modified side plank, left toes spin, left hand under the face, right foot plants into the mat, toes towards the long edge. Get your base here nice and strong, pressing into that right foot, all the way through the knee to the hand, then right arm reaches overhead. Again, finding that rainbow shape, blade edge of the foot through the fingertips. On an inhale, elbow towards the hip, look up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, elbow to the hip. Exhale, reach forward. 
few more rounds at your pace. You may notice you want to spend a little extra time in either shape. You are more than welcome to. Keeping that base nice and strong. Right sole of the foot stays pressing into the mat. It's easy for that foot to get light. Pause next time you're reaching forward. Right arm reaches up. And then cartwheel it back to the mat, tabletop. Giving yourself a breath here. Tuck your toes and then walk your hands forward about a handprint. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Can pedal out your dog, shift your hips side to side. Just giving yourself a little time in our first down dog of practice. Likely first down dog of the day. Hips nice and lifted, press into both hands equally. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, root through your feet, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, mountain. Inhale, arms reach up, you can look up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hip. Inhale, half lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, bend the knees, root through your feet, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, you can look up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank position. Inhale and plank on toes or knees. Exhale, slowly lower to the mat. Elbows stay hugged in. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, press up to your plank, toes or knees. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. About three rounds of breath here. Might encourage you to play with bringing a little more bend to the knees, lifting the hips a little higher. So it won't look like our typical down dog, or at least what you think of with down dog, but really lengthening the spine, giving yourself one more cycle of breath here. Inhale, bend the knees even more, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, find a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, root through your feet, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, right arm back, left arm forward, hips twist with you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, other side, left arm back, right arm forward. Press into both feet. Inhale, lift up, engage the glutes. Exhale, elbows pull down for cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, take up space. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist to the left, left arm back. Inhale, arms back to center, engage the glutes. Exhale, cactus arms, elbows pull down. Inhale, reach back towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stepping just your left foot back, open to star. So arms lift up, feet nice and wide, heart pulls forward. Then heels pull in, sink your hips down for goddess. Coming into a strong cactus pose with the upper body. Hips nice and low as you press into the blade edges and heels of those feet. Hands come to the inside of the knees. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, right shoulder dips down, right hand into right knee. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side, left hand into left knee. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your hands to the heart. Then keeping your hips nice and low, shift towards the back of your mat, extending that right leg. Then shift towards the front of your mat, extending that back leg. Keeping your hips nice and low, shifting side to side here. Notice your bum's going to want to stick out a little bit. Doing your best to keep your heart stacked over your hips. I'm not forcing anything. You'll have a little bit of that angle. 
but just not leaning so far forward like this. That's a cool dance move, not a yoga move. <laughs> Give yourself one more round of breath. Pausing back in center. Hands come to hips, straighten your legs, turn your toes to long edge of the mat. Wide leg forward fold. Inhale, find a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, bend into your back knee, so into that left knee towards the back of the mat. You can pause here or sink towards Skindasana. Back heel lifts, right heel presses into the mat, toes towards the sky. Right arm reaches towards the sky. Bit of a twist here, just a moment. Then hands come back to the mat, staying nice and low. Shift to side lunge or skandasana on the other side. Doesn't have to match what you did. Left heel into the mat, toes towards the sky. Chest stays lifted wherever you are. Left arm towards the sky, bit of a twist here. Then left hand back to the mat. Return to wide leg forward fold. Hang heavy for a moment. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, lift all the way up, back to star. Take up as much space as you can. Exhale, hands to heart center. Step to the top of the mat. Breathe in and out. Inhale, arms reach up. You can look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank position. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra, heart pulls forward. Exhale, meet back in downward facing dog. Give yourself a breath there, heels towards the mat, hips towards the sky. Inhale, sweep your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands, warrior two. Back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Nice, strong base here. Inhale, right palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, right arm overhead. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm comes overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg, turn toes to long edge of the mat. Wide leg forward fold. Right hand plants under the nose or right fist. Left arm lifts towards the sky. Then left hand or fist plants under the nose. Right arm reaches towards the sky. Return to center. Inhale, half lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, lift all the way up like a wide leg Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to shoulder height. Turn left toes towards the back of the mat. Keeping that left leg straight. Hips reach back, fingertips forward. Triangle towards the back of the mat. So left hand reaches towards the floor, right arm towards the sky. Chest stays nice and open. Lift to reverse or peaceful triangle, right arm down the back leg, left arm overhead. Next breath, bend into the left knee, warrior two facing the back of your mat here. Breathe in and out. Cartwheel your hands to the mat, low lunge. Step back to plank position, in plank facing the back of your mat, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra, tops of the feet to the mat. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. Give yourself a breath in, breath out. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands, warrior two. Right foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Arms at shoulder height, so we're facing the same side of the room, back of the mat. Inhale, left palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, extended side angle, right arm overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten left leg, turn toes to long edge of the mat. 
wide leg forward fold. Left hand plants under the nose, right arm reaches towards the sky. Right hand plants under the nose, left arm reaches towards the sky. Return to center, hang heavy. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to shoulder height. Turn front toes towards the top of the mat, keeping that leg straight. Hips reach back, fingertips forward. Triangle towards the front of the mat. Right arm reaching down, left arm towards the sky. Chest stays open. Maybe press the back of your head back just a bit. Then left arm down the back leg, right arm overhead. Reverse or peaceful triangle. Breathe into it. Bend into that front knee, return to warrior two. Give yourself a breath here, softly looking over those front fingertips. Cartwheel your hands to the mat, low lunge. Step back to plank position. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, we'll meet with hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Give yourself a breath in, breath out. Inhale, shift forward to plank position. Slow exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Elbows stay hugged in, take your time. Untuck your toes and lift your heart for sphinx. Elbows press into the mat, palms can press into the mat or hands clasp wherever you feel more stable. Ears pull away from the shoulders. You might play with taking your feet a little wider. That can add some space in your low back if it feels a little tight. If it still doesn't feel great, find a lower shape, a lower back bend here. Giving yourself just one more round of breath. Then slowly lower down, creating a little pillow at the back of your hands. Rest your forehead here. Pause in stillness for a moment. You can bend your knees and let your heels fall side to side if that feels good. Or stay in stillness if that feels better. One more round of breath. If, you're extend or if your legs aren't extended, extend them here. Then begin to shift yourself back to a child's pose, keeping your knees pointing towards the top of the mat. So a little more narrow child's pose. Inch your fingertips forward. We're here for just a moment. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you begin to lift your upper body out of the shape, we'll pause here in Heroes for a moment. Then shifting your weight forward, tuck your toes for planters. Now we're here for just a moment. We'll add in some movement, hips towards the heels, but you can always keep some weight forward, releasing some stress on the soles of your feet. Adding in twists here. Inhale, reach up, come to standing on the knees. Exhale, sink down, hands towards the right. Inhale, reach up, standing on the knees. Exhale, sink down, hands towards the left. Give yourself a few rounds, working at your pace of breath. If this doesn't feel good, if plantar stretch is just too intense, keep your toes tucked and practice here, just staying lifted. For some bodies, that is plenty of a stretch in the sole of the foot. So listen to what's right for you. One more round on either side and we'll meet back in center when you're ready. Pausing here, lifted. Untuck your toes, hands to the mat, then stamp out the tops of your feet here. A little yogi stampede, you can really get fancy with it. And then as you're ready, shift your hips back towards your heels heels out from under your seat. Taking the soles of the feet together, 
Pull your heels away from you. We want some space for our diamond pose. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, hinge forward and then round forward. Chin towards the chest, letting everything hang nice and heavy here. Give yourself a handful of breaths, softening into the shape. Next, inhale, gently press your upper body out of that fold. Bring your knees together, soles of the feet to the mat, then lower down to your back body. Giving yourself some time here. Setting up so your soles of the feet press into the mat, feet are at about hip distance. Start here with the palms resting on the floor. Then on an inhale, lift your hips for bridge pose. You can pause right here, simply pressing those palms into the floor. Or I like to interlace my hands, walking the shoulders a little more under my body, pressing those knuckles towards the heels. Wherever you choose to be, give yourself two rounds of breath here. Next breath, release back down, shoulders walk out from under you. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. We'll go through that once more. You're welcome to join, you're welcome to skip. Inhale, lift your hips. Finding your version of bridge pose. Maybe you interlace your hands, maybe not. Some bodies even feel good reaching the arms overhead here. So just play around with what works for you. Similar to our supported bridge. Engagement in the core and the glutes. One more cycle of breath. Then lower back down to the mat. Shoulders walk out from under you. Knees hug into the chest here, nice and soft. Then hands come to the blade edges of the feet, the heels, or anywhere along the shins for happy baby. Knees hang heavy towards either side of the body. Letting yourself rock back and forth if that feels good in the spine. Can play with straightening one leg and maybe the other if that feels good in the hamstrings. Or if you're ready for stillness, Embrace that here. Giving yourself about three rounds of breath, softening into the shape as much as is available for you. In some bodies, this doesn't feel like a real soft shape and that is a-okay. When your next inhale rolls around, can pull your knees into your chest. Once again, releasing that grip. Right knee stays hugged in as left leg extends long. Gentle pressure right knee towards that right shoulder. Then guide your right knee to the left side of the body. Right arm out to a T or a cactus shape. Left hand resting maybe on that knee or your belly. Breathe here. Next, inhale, gently guide yourself back to center. Right knee hugs in and then left comes to meet it. Extend your right leg long. Left knee towards that left shoulder. Again, just as much pressure as feels good before you guide your left knee to the right side of your body. 
Left arm can come out to a T or a cactus shape. Right hand resting wherever it feels comfortable. Adjust your low body as needed. Soften into the twist. Inhale back to center. One more moment, tight little yogi hug, both knees hug in, forehead up towards the knees. Then extend into Shavasana, letting your legs extend long, arms hang heavy. Scan here to see if you can soften all the way from the soles of the feet, through the back of the legs to the glutes, the back body, the arms. Tongue releases from the roof of the mouth. Jaw releases. Eyebrows soften away from each other. Your only job here is to breathe and I'll let you know when it's time to come out. Body can remain still. If it feels good and is available to you today, you are more than welcome to stay in this place of rest. If it's time to close out your practice, start by deepening your inhales and exhales. Slowly adding in whatever movement feels good to warm up your body. You might wiggle fingers and toes or even build to a nice good morning stretch, fingertips overhead, toes opposite direction. Taking your time, gently make your way to a fetal position on either side. Pausing there for just a moment, feeling held and supported before you press up to any comfortable seated position. Finding that tall spine, heart over hips, head over heart. Feeling into some gratitude. You showed up today, made the time for yourself and honored your body with movement and with rest. Allowing that importance to sink in. We'll close with a collective breath. You can exhale to prepare. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, draw your hands back to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thanks for being part of this RAD community. And I hope the rest of your day is absolutely wonderful.